feel like I should know more than I know. Don't sweat it. We have this new tool, My Credit Options Guide, that gives you a customized comparison like this, which helps you discover which credit options might be right for you. Oh, this is better. They should make one for paint. <laughs> Want to get started? Sure. What's your favorite dance style to choreograph? I think my favorite dance style to choreograph is um, probably freestyle. And I know that's not really a genre, but I just like just going like all out, just whatever I want. Because sometimes you have to stick to the dance style. Um, so the freestyle, you basically just get free range of whatever you want to do. Um, and then I would also say probably Argentine Tango because you get to do all the big lifts and it's a little bit more passionate and more intense. So I would say either of those two. I bought a novel, some perfume, a fortune over you. But it's not my conscience that hates to be untrue. I asked of my reflection, tell me what is there to do. I'm still really freaking out. Oh, we can Hi, you ready to do this? Okay. We're going to a nice hotel and that's what you're wearing? Well, I'm going on the cover. This is what my character's wearing. Well, you look like a guy who's about to get whacked on the Sopranos. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. He looks like Missy Elliott. Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! Go <laughs> change. That's a good one. I'm sorry, this was all just one big stupid game. Oh, no! Don't get to it! When I heard you broke up with Dr. Mike, I just should have come up. But I, I sent in Ben because I thought you needed a rebound, but, but then you'd already rebounded, so then we had to rebound the rebound, and then Roger went in and went rogue, and now here we are. I'm not really following. He likes you! Look, I never should have broken up with you in the first place. Is there any way you could give me a second chance? All you have to do is ask. Dr. Mike was just the rebound from you. You'll always be my chuckle bear. Oh, that's gross. Tonight's first round is complete. So far, Normani and Val are in the lead with a perfect score. Bonner and Sharna are trailing at the bottom. We're going to see how the trio round, though, changes the scores, possibly the standings. Up first, Rashad and Emma. When the judges assigned Whitney as their trio partner, Rashad was quickly outnumbered. Step, step. Normally we get to pick our trio partners, but this season the judges picked our partners for us. Pull me through. One, catch. Oh my god! <laughs> I was so excited when Whitney walked into the room. She's my ride or die. We're bridesmaid buddies, we're best mates. Oh boy. Do you think you can handle us? I think so. You want to hear the song? Oh. Is it something that I would recognize? Do you know Fleetwood Mac? Yes. Of course I know him. Yeah. Wait, is that is that a rapper or is that the actual title that of the song? Fleetwood Mac is not. Is, that's it's a, a group. It's a group. Yeah, that's how we're different. Okay. I might be in trouble. <laughs> we need some cool like trio trick. I feel like I could get here, like wrapped around somehow. We could both straddle him. It's a family show. Emma and Whitney believe they are at gymnastics class, and I am the pole. Oh my god. Argentine tango is super sexy, so make it sexy. This week's story is about a man in a relationship. Two. Whitney is a temptress, and she tries to seduce him. This is like a warning, like a fending her off. Rashad is more than just someone who can get the steps. He puts his flavor into it. Oh, it's going to be so good. So good. I need him to draw on that if we're going to take top spot over Namani this week.
Who wins my affection at the end is something you have to see. You're gonna give in to temptation? Well, depends how good the temptation is. You go again, you say you want your freedom Well, who am I to keep you down? It's only right that you should play it the way you feel it But listen carefully to the sound of your loneliness Like a heartbeat drives your mind Rashad and Emma and Whitney. Oh, well, well. Great job. Sometimes it's good to be the pole. <laughs> good stuff. All right. All right, Len, you start. Well, you know, Argentine tango needs a bit of passion so we the judges thought let's bring Whitney in try and spice it up and, uh, 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 we certainly did that yeah. <laughs> it was so full of passion the storytelling I thought was terrific from one to the other it was a great way to do a trio's dance I've got to say once again You've got to work on your footwork. You've got to get your feet better. <laughs> Honestly, because you're such a talented dancer, and I look at your feet, you know, you've got... You've got dancing in your blood. It's just not reached your feet yet. <laughs> <laughs> Julianne. Okay, the concept, the choreography, the addition of Whitney was amazing. I do love a loyal man, though, so I like that you uh, went back to Emma. Um, but honestly, um, the thing that I loved so much is that you had different dynamics when you danced with Emma versus uh, Whitney. You had a more, like, sensual love kind of interaction here, and then it got passionate and strong. So when you can see that and the different dynamics, that's when you know you, you're a good dancer. Like, you got this. Yeah. 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 I couldn't look at the feet because I think the blood was flowing everywhere. <laughs> I mean, I talk about the combination there. That was an erotic chain reaction. And I was later saying, can we do that on TV? Is that legal? <laughs> what is he doing to these girls? God, you handle two better than one, I tell you that, man. <laughs> okay. He's trios all the way for you. Oh, there you go. To me, this was your best dance, and it's because the way you are just so in control. Coming back, I know I give you strong criticisms, I know I push you hard, but you came back here in this dance, the second dance tonight, and you just, it was all together. I disagree with Len about the footwork in that particular number. I thought it was spot on. Yes. All right. Yes. There you go. Yes. Congratulations, guys. Head to the Skybox for your scores. The couple who survived tonight's elimination compete next week in the semifinals. They'll face a new judges' challenge round as they dance closer to the coveted mirror ball. Plus, two-time champion Cheryl Burke's going to be back on the floor with a special performance. Next week. Aaron? How dare you, Whitney? How dare you trying to come into this lovely partnership and try to break it up with your blue <laughs> lips, you dirty, naughty girl. I, know. I mean, the nerve of her, right? <laughs> I, I need to know who came up with the name for this group and why? <laughs> mm. 
I think it was a collective group. You know, we kind of uh, was trying to figure out what would be the best name for it. Yeah. I, what is I'll the name? Them, I'll let them share. Is it? Men it's Menage et Chad. <laughs> Menage et Chad. I heard a little rumor that uh, Blondie McGee over here to the <laughs> left came up with this name. What was the inspiration? Oh, did you? Oh, She's no, I didn't. One. She's a devilish she, one. No, I'm not. She her. looks so innocent, though. Oh, wait, Rashad, welcome to Dancing with the Stars. Know, we know I'm, better with this I'm, one. Yeah. I mean... What? I'm innocent. Wait till you see her play some game shows. Have you ever seen that little bit oh, with Lindsay? Don't go back. Smarty pants nope. over here. We won't. Let's nope. see what the judges <laughs> thought. <laughs> Carrie Ann Inaba. And now it's Rashad. Gets it in. <laughs> Len Goodman. Nine. Julianne Huff. Ten. Bruno Tonioli. Ten. Thirty-nine out of forty. Their total for the night was seventy-five. What was this called? The what was the trio called again? Yes. Menage Shad. Menage Shad. Tom? I love it. Thanks, Aaron. Bonner and Sharna coming up with the trio partner the judges assigned to them. Britt plus Normani and Val dance with Alan. And later, another couple will be sent home in tonight's elimination live. in the neighborhood. I thought I would just come by and finally meet your family. So, how do you treat your children? We were cellmates in jail. Mom, you went to prison! Maybe you should just go. We both know what you did. So I'm gonna stay here for now. Are you threatening my family? What do you think? Stay away from Chris. Excuse me? You heard what I said. You had your chance with him. Did you forget to finish getting dressed? If I see you near him one more time, I'm gonna smash a lead pipe in your face. Hello, Tina speaking. Vanessa Redman? No, I've never heard of her. I just found this phone on the street. He's different. I think you'd really like him. <laughs> To great tasting flavor. Belvita Breakfast Biscuits. Flavors like delicious blueberry or decadent chocolate gently baked in a tasty biscuit. Belvita Breakfast Biscuits. It's time to taste the day. How's this for a TV show? Sous chef. Lawyer by day, prep cook by night. No. Here you go. I got this. I get cash back, so it's like everything's on sale. With the Blue Cash Everyday card, you get cash back on purchases with no annual fee, backed by the service and security of American Express. Once, chocolate was the best thing you could ever give her. It still is. Levion Chocolate Diamond Jewelry. Only Levion makes jewelry with chocolate diamonds. Levion at K, the store for the chocolate she'll love forever. Our team protects the bay at all costs. This has nothing to do with saving people! This is Baywatch, you pussy! Training begins at 0600. Quit saying 0600. That's not a real time and we all know it. Whoa. I didn't touch you. You dick. 